Hey guys, good afternoon. Um, as always, this is Sasha, and this is my uh, daily darkness, kind of like my daily vlog as to what all is going on with life and about me in general. Um, so I've had a few questions today. Um, a couple people want to know how I came about my name, because obviously, you know, Catherine Sasha Mallon isn't my birth name, even though I prefer to be called Sasha, just so you all know. Um, well, Sasha's got an interesting story to it. Uh, I used to hang out at this uh, place down in Berkeley Springs, West Virginia, known as the Earth Dog Cafe. Great place, great barbecue. You get a chance to head down that way, grab some, because it's a good place, great people. Um, so I used to frequent there in the evenings. Um, me, if anybody knows me, I, I do drink a good on occasion. Um, and as a result, they would refer to me as Slosh. Um, for my name, and I thought it was hilarious at the time, so it just kind of grew and adapted from that to become Sasha. Um, with the Catherine bit, um, that was a name I'd often use whenever I went to the LGBT clubs, things of that nature, because um, I always wanted to keep my initials. Uh, so it's Catherine, you know, K is my original dead name first initial, and then Sasha is the middle name, but I always go by Sasha. Um, and it looks like the connection's weak, so if we have and lose connection, I apologize in advance. Um, but that's where the names came from. Uh, now, with another thing I've been asked is my sexuality, because a lot of, you know, I do have kids. I have three, um, one with an ex-fiance and two with my ex-wife. And a lot of people were like, okay, so does that mean you're, you know, a transgender lesbian? Does that mean what exactly? And to be honest, I'm pan. Um, basically what pan means is, is that I don't look at basically gender or things of that nature. It's somebody's personality that I'm attracted to. Um, and granted, of course, I had fiancés and a wife before because basically, you know, I still was underneath my father's thumb at that time. And as a result, you know, you kind of grow into that thinking and you kind of adapt accordingly. Um, and... I've had a few boyfriends, um, I've dated a few uh, men, um, there was a guy recently, nice as hell, really great, the only downside to him was, is I was lucky if I got to see him once a month, if not once every other month, because the guy was a workaholic. Nothing wrong with that, but when you're in your early 20s and all you do is work all the time, and you got zero debt, makes no damn sense, so obviously I had to, you know, cut that out. Um, but, yeah, men, women, I'm open to anything. It just depends on your personality and who you really are. And that's basically me. So, you know, pansexual, that's what that means. A lot of people are like, well, you know, does that mean you're bi? Well, in a way, but it's more the personality that I'm attracted to than anything else. Um, right now I'm single and enjoying it because, hell, there's nothing wrong with being single. You know, you got to be happy with yourself before you can be happy with anybody else. Um, and that's just life in and of itself. Um, I'm not going to complain if something comes along or if somebody wants to go buy me dinner. I'm all about that. Free meal. Why not? Um, but, you know, that's not how to be. You know, I, I enjoy great conversation, great people. And, hey, if it goes further, it goes further. Um, but, yes, you know, for many of you asked, I'm what's known as pansexual. That's why I always love it when people ask me, you know, do you like boys or do you like girls? And I'm like, yeah, that's my answer. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it all depends on the situation. It all depends on the person. Um, so that's me in a nutshell. Um, as you can tell, I was able to get up, do my hair and makeup today. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of filming today. So there will be some new episodes of Princess of Darkness. Um, of course, the you know the reviews for Shark Week are coming up. I had to set through Sharknado, which was a fucking nightmare. Um, and then, of course, um, I got the review Resident Evil 7 that I need to film today because I was able to play the demo of that. Um, and I'm also going to uh, probably film some stuff for my Sweet Home review that's going to be uh, coming out here soon as well. Um, the Taurus of Terror is going to have some other videos coming up. Um, we have uh, Wheeled Warriors, and I also was shocked and surprised to find Duckman recently on YouTube. Granted, you know, usually the Taurus of Terror covers basically things like, you know, kids' cartoons from, like, Saturday mornings. Um, Duckman's a little bit more mature, but, you know, it, it, it was one of my favorites. So, anyways, that's your update for today. Again, if you have any questions, you can either, you know, hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr. I'm everywhere. Just send me a message, and I'll answer it in one of the videos. Um, so, as always, thanks for watching, and talk to you all later.